Hi, and welcome to the, I guess you can say, the official NSB Entertainment Adobe Premiere Elements 2.0 compositing tutorial. <laughs> Throughout the tutorial, I will teach you how to composite black, white, green, and blue backgrounds. I'll be using footage from the Detonation Film site. There you can download free footage of like explosions and stuff and buy even better footage for pretty cheap prices also if you use Adobe Premiere Elements 3.0 you should be able to follow this tutorial so enjoy watching and I hope you learn something compositing black backgrounds is fairly simple Start off by placing your effect on video track 2, assuming that your background is on video track 1. In your effects and transitions box, located at the left, scroll down to King, select it, and then scroll down to Track Mat Key, which is the duck with the heart around it. Click and drag that effect to your footage. Now if you look at your properties box, you will notice that the um, Track Mat Key has appeared. Select it, and then once selected, set the mat to video 3. That's the track that the footage has to be set on for the background to disappear. Now set the composite to matte luma. Leave the reverse button unchecked. That's for white backgrounds. We'll do that later. Now you'll see that the footage has disappeared, but that's because we haven't set it. We haven't put the footage on track 3, which is the track we selected in our properties box. Drag it to video track 3 and you'll see it appear with the background gone. After you composite the footage, you may notice that it's a it's a bit transparent. To fix that, you'll need to do a multi-layer composite. To do that, you'll need more than our default three video tracks. So, to add more tracks, go to your toolbar and select Timeline and Add Tracks. Add about five tracks, and that should be enough. Now, right-click your footage and copy and paste it on the timeline. Once you paste it, take your take notice of your properties box in your track mat key you'll notice that the mat is still set on video 3 now our copied footage can't go on the same timeline as the first footage so we have to put it one track above it which is video track 4 so set the mat to video track 4 now drag the copied footage to video track 4 and make it in sync with your first footage You'll see that it's no longer transparent, and you can adjust your image control to get how the footage you want it to look. There may be some instances where some footage will still be transparent even though you copied two pieces of it, two layers. You may even have to do as much as five layers of copying just to, just to make it look good. So keep that in mind. To composite white backgrounds, you take the same steps steps as compositing black backgrounds. So, drag the track mat key effect to your footage with the white background. Go to your properties box and set the mat to video three, and then composite to luma. Now, drag the clip to video track three, and you'll see that the white background hasn't disappeared. To get rid of it, click the reverse button in the properties box. Now, this tells Adobe to do just the opposite, which is to get rid of white backgrounds instead of black. And if you're having transparency problems, just follow the same steps as I gave you in the um black as the black backgrounds. So yay. Compositing green screens is a little different. If a green screen isn't perfect, you'll have to do a little adjusting. So the footage I'm using is from Detonation Films. It's not a perfect green screen, but you can get Adobe to composite it. You just have to do a little work. So start off by putting your footage on track two, and in your effects and transition transitions box, scroll down to King, and then drag the effect green screen t key to your footage. Once you drag it there, you'll notice some a few problems. You'll see that the explosion is transparent and that you can see a little of the green screen still. So to fix this, go to your properties box, select green screen key, and address the threshold and cutoff until you get the results you want. On this particular 
piece of footage. I set the cutoff to 27 and the threshold to 35. Of course, if you're using different footage, this will all be different. Now, the footage looks pretty good, but it can look better. So, you can make it look better by using image control. For some reason, if you use the default image control in the box, it will affect all of the footage, including the green screen. And we don't want that, so go over to the effects and transitions box, scroll up to adjust and select Ima image control, drag that to your footage. Now when you use the second image control, we just added it won't affect the green screen, it will just affect the footage we already composited. So adjust this until you get the results you desire. Compositing blue backgrounds is similar to compositing green backgrounds. You'll just have to use a different effect. Go to your effects and transitions box, scroll down to King, and select blue screen key. Drag it to your footage, and then go to your properties box, and blue screen key should have appeared. Just like the, just like the green screen key, adjust the threshold and cut off until you get the results you want. On this footage, I set the threshold to 40 and the cutoff to 26. If you want to do further adjusting, go to your effects and transitions box. Click adjust and select the effect image control. Once again, adjust the settings according to what looks good to you.